One of the most serious emergencies that myself and my colleagues treat at Vets now is a condition called GDV, which stands for gastric dilation and volvulus. Gastric dilation, or bloat as it's sometimes known, refers to the stomach becoming very distended with gas. The volvulus part is when the stomach flips about its axis, and this is really when the condition becomes life-threatening for the dog. No one knows exactly what causes GDV, but there are certain risk factors and certain things that make it more likely, particularly eating a large meal, either very soon before or after exercise. There are certain breeds that are more prone to getting a GDV, so Great Danes, Dobermans, Setters, German Shepherds. These breeds are the most at risk. However, any breed of dog can suffer from this condition. There are certain signs to watch out for that may indicate that your pet is suffering from this. Restlessness, faster or more laboured breathing, drooling, unsuccessfully trying to vomit. And finally, you may start to notice abdominal distension. If you ever suspect that your dog may have a GDV, it's absolutely vital that you seek veterinary attention as soon as possible. The success rates for this condition really depend on how quickly we get to treat the animal. So what can you do to prevent your dog from getting a GDV? Well unfortunately we can't prevent it 100% but we can do certain things that will reduce the risk of it happening. One of the most important things to do is make sure that you have good intervals between your dog's eating times and exercising times, ideally at least one to two hours. It's also really important to slow down how quickly your dog eats, so using things like maize bowls can really help. Lastly, consider feeding your dog small amounts throughout the day rather than one large meal, if that's practical to you. For more information on GDV or bloat, check out vets-now.com.